friends, there is a concept in quantum physics called superposition, which suggests that quantum particles remain in a state of superposition until observed by an observer. In this state, these particles can exist everywhere and in all forms simultaneously. To explain this through the Schrodinger's cat experiment, superposition implies that a cat inside a closed box is both alive and dead at the same time until we open the box and observe it. Now, if we think about this, humans are also made up of quantum particles. So, theoretically, shouldn't we also be in a superposition, being both alive and dead and existing everywhere simultaneously? But of course, that's not the case. You and I both exist, and this universe around us is very real. So doesn't this imply that there is some observer constantly watching us, whose observation causes the quantum particles of the universe to leave superposition and form a single real reality where we all exist? It's a thought-provoking idea, isn't it? If that's true, then who is this ultimate observer? A research paper published on January 3rd, 2023, explained that black holes in space might be the ultimate observers. According to the research, these black holes continuously observe and make our reality real. In simple terms, the research suggests that you and I exist because black holes exist in the universe. But how is this possible? Let's explore this in today's episode. In 1970, during a seminar at Princeton University, physicist John Wheeler was asked about the reality of the universe. In response, he drew a capital U on the board, representing the universe. On the left top side, he depicted the Big Bang, symbolizing the creation of the universe when everything was uncertain and all quantum possibilities existed simultaneously. On the right side, he drew an eye, illustrating the presence of an observer who by observing causes the universe to collapse from uncertainty and superposition into a single reality. This phenomenon where quantum states collapse into a single reality due to the presence of an observer is known as decoherence. To explain this further, let's revisit Schrodinger's cat experiment. In this thought experiment, the cat is both alive and dead simultaneously as the quantum particles remain in superposition until we open the box and observe the cat. But let's think beyond the box. Why does the box even exist? It is also made up of quantum particles. Why doesn't it remain in superposition? Why don't the Earth and the universe stay in superposition? Research on this has been ongoing for a long time. Recently, during a thought experiment, physicist Dr. Danielson and his team at the University of Chicago discovered that the black hole horizon is sufficient to collapse the quantum states of particles in the universe. Physicist Gautam Satish Chandran explained that black holes act like eyes in space, continuously observing and turning the universe from superposition into a single reality. To understand this better, we must look at the behavior of quantum particles. Consider the double slit experiment. When photons are fired at a double slit, they exhibit wave-like behavior, forming an interference pattern on the screen. However, when a detector or observer is added to the experiment, the superposition of photons collapses due to decoherence, showing only the particle nature of photon, forming two lines on the screen. What's interesting is that the observer doesn't have to be physically close to collapse the quantum states. In 2021, Research by Satish Chandran and Danielson's team showed that an observer in a different galaxy could still affect the experiment. Imagine I form a double slit experiment in my studio without an observer, showing wave-like interference. Now suppose an alien named Bob in a distant galaxy observes this experiment through a powerful telescope. What do you think will happen if we redo the experiment? Even if Bob is thousands or millions of light years away and looking at our past, his observation would still affect our experiment. The logic suggests that the alien Bob's observation, even from a different timeline, could collapse the quantum superposition. It doesn't matter how far the observer is or in which timeline they exist, because in the quantum world, time and space don't matter. Now, imagine that we hide the information that Bob is observing our experiment, perhaps inside a black hole. Let's extend the experiment and assume Bob is inside the event horizon of a black hole. The event horizon is a one-way ticket information, can reach the black hole, but cannot escape. Even then, many quantum physicists argue that Bob's observation would still influence the experiment. This paradox contradicts Einstein's theory of relativity, which states that no information can escape a black hole. So how does Bob's observation still affect our experiment? In 2016, a paper by Stephen Hawking and Malcolm Perry provided an explanation. When quantum particles are about to cross a black hole's event horizon, low-energy radiation around the horizon, known as soft hair, 
records the information from these particles. This soft hair acts as an observer, ensuring that the information isn't lost. Thus, the quantum states collapse, creating a single reality. In short, our entire reality might be shaped by black holes observing the universe. They collapse quantum particles from superposition into a single reality, forming everything around us, including the box and the cat inside it. The event horizons aren't only found near black holes, but also around our expanding universe, forming a boundary that acts like an observer, collapsing the quantum states into reality. Some physicists also believe that gravity plays a crucial role in destroying quantum superposition. Combining these results, if the universe hadn't expanded or black holes didn't exist, all particles would remain in superposition everything everywhere all at once. This thought experiment would require us to perform an actual experiment in the event horizon, which is currently impossible with our technology. Ultimately, we don't exist because logic says so, but because someone or something is constantly observing us. I hope you enjoyed this video and gained a new perspective on our universe. If you did, give this video a like. I'll see you in another fascinating video. Until then, bye and keep waiting.